Hello everyone. Today let's talk about a German mechanical pencil, a Stadler. However, this German pencil made in Japan. So yeah, so they are made specifically for Japan market. However, uh, they are very popular, and I think they uh, sell almost around the world with a very uh, reasonable affordable price let her look so the retail price would be 12 Japanese yen probably 12 buck USD then let have a closer look at this gorgeous silver aluminum pencil ah, I got here 0.5 millimeter And here I have also very interesting two millimeter, two millimeter mechanical pencil. Hey, interesting thing because usually mechanical pencil doesn't come with two millimeter. Uh, the two millimeter size normally come like a lead holder, like this one. This one is a Stadler, and. This is how a lead holder works. You put the button and then the lead drop down uncontrollably. So for this one, it works like a mechanical pencil. When we lick, the lead is expand in increment, which is very nice. So let's have a look at the coding. Nine two five two five oh two. 05 so the last two digit 05 mean the size of the pencil and for the, the type of pencil it comes from 0 0.3 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.9 and then two millimeter uh, actually i ordered one blue and one silver however they only send me the silver so the blue one will have the coding like Nine two five three five, and it's just the different color, different coding. The three five have a deep blue, ocean blue, very nice blue coding. Anyway, I love both, uh, blue or silver, no matter. Let her look at the tip. It a fit sleeve, and the. The rope of a fist lisp is uh, very sturdy. It resides sturdy, no warbling, no warbles at all. But you can see here, I rub it accidentally from my desk to the floor and deeply bend it. I was like, oh my god. My heart is breaking, my heart was breaking, but then I managed to uh, fix it. It's still lightly, too, you can see that. Because although they sell the replacement part, but very hard to buy here. Oh, let's uh, write something with it. So when you buy the pencil, it will come with several uh, refill lead inside, and also actually two millimeter only come with one single HB lead. Mm -hmm. Take time to take it out. Here you see this HB, and this take it out. Stabber. 
and it should be here. Put it in, in KI. You know, I'm clumsy, I damn it things, and also I hurt myself sometimes. Hmm. Let's open, let's dismember them actually. Ah, this is my room. Have a look, have a look. So, this is very nice. They have, um, I don't know if this one metal or plastic. Hmm. metal this one look at this it comes with a very nice pin to clearing the jam if you have any put it in and then it comes with a lead ray indicator as well so you need to unscrew the body a bit so you can turn the LED indicator. It comes from 2B back down to 3H. Very nice. Let's keep it at HP. Oh, it should open the box. Yeah. Pew. So here you go. what happened? <sighs> I break the blood. Hmm. So, brass blood, very nice. And because it's like a whole metal pencil except for the lead container, it's plastic. It's quite heavy. And it's, it's actually it's a nice weight rubber way for mechanical pencil so i would recommend this pencil for anyone who is searching for a nice standard mechanical pencil because it's have everything it's good and it, and actually it's on my phone that i damaged the tip and then have a look at this baby it's have the brass container very nice so definitely healthier than this one and I show you show you mm, look at this it gigantic right that just look awesome and it will it like a mechanical pencil which is so sweet and same if you want to adjust the letter indicator you need to untrue it a bit but then I untrue it all the way so I can show you clearly how the container look like and this one coming from 4B back down to 4H. Nice. Hey. HP. Don't wait, come with HP when you buy it. Oh, one one probe i need to tell you that this one doesn't come up with a sharpener so you need to buy a separate sharpener for yourself no get back okay so uh, i bought this one a uh, stabilo one but i don't recommend this at all because it work awful just make I use my very cheap pencil to do this I put one in so you can see and it's just daunting very bad mm. look what it makes 
na. So remember, don't buy this. Actually, this one is yeah, very cheap. It's also a mechanical pencil. Look up. Cool, huh? However, it's on plastic except for the grip is a Chinese pencil. However, it comes with a sharpener. Look at it. The, the cap is also a sharpener. So, should just do this. And yeah, look a bit better. See, so this is the sharpener that I use to sharpen my stencil and wire because it works okay. And if you can, I show you how cheap it looks inside. It's also a plastic clutch, which I. I'm not a fan of however as long as it works it's right and if I have to bring a pencil with me outside then I would bring this one because why not I don't mind if I lose it and actually it works really well it have a shopping mirror it have a lift it have everything ah, this one is a lead holder let me show you this is the coinoid torsion however I don't like it's lip so I took it off and because of that I shred off some pen and water PT but it's really the the lip is the one I really hate on this pencil because when I hold it and the lip stay this low it keep ooh, it keep hitting my hand and then hurt me badly so finally I took it off remove it and one thing about this guy that I don't like but it actually come up with a sharpener with sharpener but it worked not really well working mm. and you need to draw it in through it in and during your rose set to screw it in, you also unscrew the tip. See? And if I show it back, screw it, unscrew it, I don't know. It's really confusing. So, this is also a problem with coin oil. That's why I only have uh, one single coin oil in my collection. So, I think that's it for today. Thank you.